So, your mouse pad is long overdue. It's ready for the trash. It's done for. Fear not, I have a solution for you. For gaming, for video editing, and for daily use in general. Stay tuned. Hi there, I'm Jimmy Olsson, your friendly filmmaker. Welcome to my channel where we mainly focus on basic filmmaking, affordable camera and studio gear and how to get the most out of them. And what gear could possibly be more essential than a splendid mouse pad? I mean, imagine editing your videos without one, hmm? Problem is, my trusty old mouse pad is singing on its last verse, so I set out on an online journey to find a successor to the abdicating king of my desk and lo and behold, after some searching adventures, I seem to have found the perfect solution for both my keyboard and mouse. Enter the Archeer RGB Gaming Mousepad, or Musmatta as we say in Swedish. Yes, so the Swedish word of the day is Musmatta, don't forget it. Let's make a quick unboxing to see what's inside and to see if it's worthy of succeeding my old mousepad on the desk throw. So we have the mouse pad. Quite a large one, eh? And a sturdy USB cable. Nothing fancy, just what to expect, really. This mouse pad slash keyboard design uh, goes under many brand names like uh, Ragazan, Ice Tech, Ray Wool, have it to name a few. This particular one is from a brand uh, called uh, Art Shield and uh, it doesn't look bad at all at first glance. On the top we have uh, a very soft and smooth water resistant surface and uh, on the back side here we have what seems to be a very convincing anti-slip rubber base. And it seems to be a really good quality product right out of the box. So the unit is 80 centimeters wide and 30 centimeters long and is large enough for almost any kind of mouse and keyboard solution you might own. And uh, on the side here we have a control button with 12 different modes, 9 static color modes and uh, 3 dynamic color modes. So let's install the thing and see what it looks like and how it feels. The installation is very straightforward. The mousepad is powered by USB, so just plug the cable in and you're ready to go. No driver required. You control the light modes by one single control button. The button is a bit plasticky, but sturdy and non-sensitive. No risk of accidentally changing color if you happen to place your hand over the control button by mistake. You press the control button once to change the lighting mode. Let's have a close-up look at the 9 static and 3 dynamic color modes. The RGB light is as strongest close to the control button module where it's powered. The further away from the control button the weaker the light gets, but the change in brightness is very subtle and not disturbing by any means. 
The mouse pad is made of what seems to be a high quality braided material and offers a very smooth surface and precise and secure mouse positioning while still holding the keyboard firmly at place on the pad. The base of the mouse pad is made of soft anti-slip rubber and firmly holds the mouse pad attached to the desktop offering excellent stability on the desk. So I'm quite pleased with the quality of the pad and it's definitely high value for the low price of the 230 Swedish Krones I paid for it. Uh, the only thing I'm not pleased with is that the control button is placed on the side and not at the front. But that's totally on me because I forgot to check that out before ordering. Uh, there's actually versions of this pad uh, with the control button at the front if one prefers that kind of solution. In fact, that seems to be the most common option. So that's uh, just a minor issue and nothing I will return the pad for. So this is a definite recommendation for me, for gamers and for people in general who spend a lot of time behind their desktops. It's fantastic value for money. And of course, you can never go wrong with one more RGB lit unit in your room, right? You will of course find a few links to this kind of mousepad in the description below. So this is it for this one folks, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you're interested in these kind of things, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and perhaps subscribing to my channel, it would be much appreciated. And uh, don't forget to hit that bell button down below if you want to get early information every time I upload a video. See you in the next one.